Hello and welcome to the series of tutorials on image processing. The language we will be using is Python and we will be using the library called OpenCV. In order to start writing our programs, we need to say file, new file and we will be presented with an editor in which we will be writing our programs. In today's tutorial, we will see how to display images that are stored on the computer. This program and the programs henceforth will follow a similar structure. They will be divided into five sections. In the first section, we will initialize whatever we need to so that we can run the program. Now once we have done the initialization, we need an image to work on and therefore we need to read the image. After reading the image, we will come to the main part of our program that will be to do the processing. Once the processing is done, we need to show the output. So therefore, we'll have to show the image. And finally, once the program is complete, we need to close and exit. In order to recap, the five sections of the programs which we write today and henceforth will be initialization, reading the image, doing the processing, showing the output, and finally close and exit. In today's program, which is to read an image from a file, the Im initialization consists of importing the necessary libraries. Since all matrices, uh, since all images will be stored as matrices, we need to say import numpy, which is the module that handles matrices. Once that is done, we need to import cv2, which is the module for OpenCV. This consists of our initialization. Once we have initialized, we need to read the image from the file, for which we have a very simple OpenCV command called imread and followed by the file name. This stores the image read by this file into a matrix called img. In this program, we don't have any processing to do, so we will leave it blank. Now, we need to show the image. In order to do that, we use the command cv2.imshow. cv2.imshow has two parameters, the first one being the name of the window in which we are showing the image, and the second being the matrix which refers to the image we want to show, which in this case is img. Finally, once we have shown the image, we want the program to exit, maybe when the user presses a key. So therefore, in order to wait for the user to press a key, we use the cv2 command cv2.waitkey. Just keep in mind that this k here is capital. This is a mistake that is often made. The parameter for this command is the amount of time to wait in milliseconds if it is greater than zero, and if this number is equal to zero, then it will wait infinitely till the user presses a key. Very similar to the c++ command getch. And finally, once the user has pressed a key, we want the program to shut down. So we will say cv2.destroy all windows, in which case it closes the windows that were open. This completes our program. So we initialize, read the image, show the image, and finally close and exit. So let us save and see how this looks like. I will save this as file image.py in the same folder as my images are saved. Let us just confirm that and you can see file image.py has been saved. Now in order to run the program, I will say run and run module, which can also be done by pressing F5. As you can see, the image has been displayed in the same size as it was saved. Let us go back to our program and see the many different things that are happening. The first parameter that we would like to uh, play with may be the wait key. Suppose I want to show my image for only 3 seconds and then shut. Then all I need to do is change this from 0 to 3000, 3000 milliseconds. Let's run the program and check that this is indeed the case. Remember that you must save your program in order for it to be run. As you can see, after 3 seconds, it automatically shut. What if I want to read some other image? For example, Lion BMP. All we need to do is change this 
to lion BMP. Now let us run and see if it works. As you can see, the image has been displayed. What if we want to display two images at once? Then we need to store it in two separate matrices. So all we need to do is copy this line, paste it, change the variable name into which we are storing the image and the name of the image we are reading. Now similarly, while displaying it, we need two windows to display it. And therefore, let's go ahead and create them. Maybe image and image 1. And this should be displaying the matrix image 1. Let us wait till the user presses a key, just so we can see it clearly. Now, as before, save and run. As you can see, both the images are displayed in different windows called image and image 1. Another thing to note is that OpenCV automatically sees the extension of the file that we have asked it to read and accordingly decodes it. So therefore, we need not be concerned with the type of file we are reading. This is all for today's tutorial. Hope to see you next time.